Hi, my name is Marquis Ford from the St. Francis Red Flash. And I'm Lou Rafford of the Wagner Seahawks. Marquise, tell us what we got coming up next. Well, you're going to have a lot of great athletes in a real good game, like this. So stick around. It's the Seahawks. And the Red Flags. Coming, coming up, up next. next. Coach with Mike Dean years ago. Wow. Munweiler from the parking lot. Line up for Don Friday. The meal ticket, Devin Sweetney. Now Nelson for three. That was excellent possession that time. To disrupt any kind of continuity Wagner might have. Drummond. The point guard creating for himself with the shot clock running down. Who just checked in, early turnovers, not really a factor. Devin Sweetney open underneath. Now, how about Kale Nelson? A quick vision, just snaps it right to him. Good going after, They're going for the trap now. Second pass out of a trap is always open. Chris Martin got it. Nelson into Jukic, and he hits off the glass. And Here they are, they're going to chase it and trap it. Ford stripped by Radford. One. Stolen by Jamal Smith, who finds Munweiler open. 4-3, got it! Before the assist. Mm -hmm. Chris Martin again from three-point range. He has been a revelation off the bench. To save it under their hoop. Nelson finds an open Kyle Jackson. He hits the three. Kel Nelson, good luck to Hoffman. And he may have been fouled as well. Kurt Hoffman. Seven on the shot clock. Kale Nelson. How about that? A little hesitation under the rim. That was a little Steve Nash-like right there. Team 20 left in the game. A wide open Lou Radford. Good luck from Drummond. A little run here. Profeta for three. And rebounded inside by Mislav Jukic. Get it back all at once. Nelson on the dish to Profeta for two. There's Kale Nelson again, getting into the teeth of the team. Ten on the shot clock, a long three. Tipped in by who knows who. <laughs> Half by St. Francis. Jamal Smith, no. Spiller, two chances, and one. Was Hoffman. Jukic can shoot it with either hand, and that time uses the glass. By Sweetney, now they had a couple free throws right there. Open look, 4-3, Chris Martin again. That's Kyle Jackson that's drains it. Jackson in assists and blocks. Martin, 4-3. Got it! Andy and another three-pointer from Chris Martin. He has 20. Seahawks win it, and Jared Greenberg is standing by with our player of the game. Well, certainly not a hard choice. Chris Martin, a freshman, a career-high 20 points, a career-best six from downtown. I guess the, the hoop was wide open for you today, Chris. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good day for me. Everything was going in, so we needed this one, so it was a good time, good time to have a, a, a big game for me. Chris, you got to feel like while your team is at the bottom of the standings, you still have a chance to make it into the NEC tournament by being one of the top eight if you win these last few games. Yeah, if we uh, we get we can still get in. So if we get in, we still got a shot, you know. When you have a crowd like you had today, the student section sold out and everybody cheering for you, does that make it easier for you to hit some more from downtown? Yeah, the support always helps. You know, get the adrenaline going behind you, fans, ball start going in. We know about Mike Dean in the past. He's always turned up the heat in February. Do you feel like now that you're down the home stretch that your Wagner team is ready to make a move? Do you notice something in practice or whether it was today's game that's going to make the difference? I think today's game is going to be the spark, you know, because uh, we've been struggling a little bit, but we're going to get it going after this. All right, so a career high 20 points in college, but this is nothing, right, because you scored 38 in high school a few years uh -huh. ago. Yeah, you know, but uh, it's big for me now because I needed it to get myself going, you know, mentally and everything. All right, Chris, congratulations on the win today. It snaps the losing streak. Right. And Chris Martin gets a career best 20 points on 7 of 10 from the field. And Dave, six of those seven from downtown. Former Wagner coach Tim Capstraw, the affable arbiter, joined Justin Drummond and Jamal Smith.
It's student athlete day today here at Wagner College, and we've got a couple special guys right here, a couple graduates of Wagner College coming up in May. We got Jamal Smith and Justin Drummond, and, and this is really special. You guys already have your degrees. You're going for your master's degree in May, but what's even more interesting, you just told me, you guys go back a long way. Yeah, we actually go back about 14, 14, 15 years. Back uh, in Baltimore, we played on the same rec teams as a as about eight or nine year olds, and I've known Justin pretty much half of my life, and he's been a uh, big friend to me. Well, everybody that talks to me about you guys says what unbelievable role models you are. And you know, you got degrees in business administration. It's a tough economy out there. We all know that right now. <laughs> yes. Let's use your imagination right now, Justin. I'm a corporate CEO. Now you got to really use your imagination. <laughs> all right? All right? But why should I, as a corporate CEO, why should I hire Justin Drummond? Well, I mean, I feel as though coming out of uh, Wagner College, I mean, it builds you up as being a, a, a good student of business itself. So going into this economy, like you said, it's a rough one right now. I mean, I feel like I bring some fresh ideas. You know, uh, I'm a hard worker on and off the court, so I feel like I can get anything done from being a leader as also being a follower. How about you? You're, you're not bad. You got, you got a real chance here. And how about you, Jamal Smith? Does being an athlete, how does that impact it? Uh, why, why should I hire you? Jamal oh, Smith. Definitely my sports background. I think uh, playing sports my whole life, it gives me that edge to, uh, that I don't get frustrated very easily. I don't let pressure succumb to me. And being as cap being captain of uh, 12 or 13 grown men with 12 or 13 different personalities, I can adapt and I can, I'm gonna uh, have the ability to talk to, to people and uh, cater, to, cater to their you know emotions and things like that. Not bad, not bad. Well, I'm gonna put you on the spot then some more. I'm still the CEO. I've been following this Wagner College team. And you guys have lost a bunch of games in a row. Right. Do you, now, you've had great success. Let's think, a couple years ago, you guys uh, played in the finals. Last year, yeah. you won, what, 23 games. Right. Uh, you're, you're, you're struggling right now. Can you, Justin Drummond, can you turn it around? Yeah, I feel like we still have a lot left in us. I mean, this team isn't uh, down on themselves. We just had a little bad luck, a little things haven't gone our way. But we feel like with a little bit more enthusiasm and, you know, just going out there and playing hard basketball the way that most of us have been doing for a very long time, we can come out here and make a change and make a run for it at the end. Nah, you're, you're, you're making a believer out of me all that time <laughs> right here. All right. Jamal Smith, you're one of the great spokespersons in, in, in the Northeast Conference. Right now, give me this Wagner College, my favorite college in the world. I worked here, I graduated mm -hmm. here. Give me, give me a minute commercial on why uh, a young athlete should come to Wagner College. Well, first of all, it's a beautiful campus. You know, one of the one of the best campuses I've seen, and I've been to uh, many different campuses across the country. And this is one of the best campuses, the prettiest campuses I've ever been on. Uh, it's not a very big campus. The academics, the teachers can give you the personal attention that you need one on one. And uh, I think everybody's just such a close knit family. You know, from the president to the person that works in the bookstore. Like, it's just a close-knit family, and I love it. And you know them all, right? You get I to know, know everybody all. here. Exactly. Well, great stuff, guys. You didn't let me down. You're <laughs> tremendous role models. Courts adjourn. These NEC Scholar athletes are Kurt Hoffman of the Red Flash basketball team and Wagner swimming star Alexandra Tomlinson. Hoffman has been a member of the Kappa Mu Epsilon Math Honor Society since last spring while Tomlinson named a second team ESPN the magazine Cosida academic All-American last year. Nice 3.97 GPA. Congratulations. And there's Kurt Hoffman. How about that? Both Wagner and St. Francis represented in this week's Scholar Athlete. There's Kurt Hoffman. Also the president of the Student Athletic Advisory Board at St. Francis. Impressive young man. You know, Dave, obviously the Northeast Conference so much more than just basketball. And one of the truly great stories this season is Marquise Ford. And he's seeing decreased play time this year for St. Francis of Pennsylvania. But the senior guard is going on to a lot more than just basketball. This upcoming June, he will join the Department of Defense working as an entry-level auditing position. He's going to work on a whole lot of different projects for the Department of Defense, including inspecting Army gear and inspecting all different type of military equipment. He's so excited. Ford told me that there's so much that goes into this process that the U.S. Department of Defense even went down to his mother's house in St. Petersburg to check into his background. And I asked Marquise, what, what did they say to your mother? He said, I'm not even, even allowed to ask her, and she's not even allowed to tell me. That's how top secret it is. And what a great story this is. Marquise Ford, he won't be playing professional basketball, but he'll be doing something a whole lot more important in his future.